James Lund is on my show today is this wine. It is Dacorn Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon 2016 vintage. Stay tuned and I'll talk about this wine. So on the text sheet that I read, there's a unique uh, aspect to this one. I'll tell you about that in a moment. But for me, I, just a note about visiting. It's a great place to visit. I'll put more information down here so you can visit uh, Duckhorn, more information down below. And I think it's a really splendid place to visit and I've only been once. So for me, it was to enjoy being on Silverado Trail. It's actually on Lodi Lane facing uh, Silverado Trail. But for me, it was a really great place to visit. So it's that quintessential Napa Valley tasting room, uh, just very nice and classy and a great place to visit. So uh, this wine, I love the label. It's so iconic and old timey at the same time. Now, what I, you know, on the tech note, what I was referring to was that it says a fruity source from Caneros, which I find very fascinating because I think often, and many people do as well, as Caneros being that Chardonnay district as well as Pinot Noir. Though, uh, you know, you do find the, the Merlot, the Cabernet Sauvignon, you find Malbec, you find Tempranillo, you find so many different varieties in the region itself. So, um, you know, I find that to be very fascinating. Now, keep in mind that Duckhorn does have a very large program of Napa Valley spe vineyard specific Cabernet Sauvignons. So this is not the only one they produce. So let me show you the label up close, 2016 vintage and uh, back label for you to look at here. This wine is 86% Cabernet Sauvignon, 8% Merlot, 4% Petit Verdot, and 2% Cabernet Franc, registering at 14.5% ABV, alcohol by volume, and uh, French oak is uh, utilized on this wine here. So it's 50% new, 50% neutral. Uh, bottle price point is $78. And uh, for me, this is a really handsome, polished, beautiful wine. And I, you know, I, I fall in love with this wine because it is Caneros. No matter what wine grapes are grown in Caneros, there is just a distinction about Caneros that I'm not really sure why it's so distinctive. Maybe it is uh, uh, the cool climate from the San Pablo Bay that, that breezes in. And I think that's probably one of the key points but it's also just this really remarkable land that's absolutely pristine and beautiful. Now this wine is uh, something I think is handsome, gorgeous. It does differentiate, say, from Rutherford or you know, going to uh, St. Helena. Now this does distinguish between, say, the mountain fruit, uh, looking at, say, uh, Diamond Mountain, Spring Mountain, uh, Atlas Peak, and so forth. It, it's just really uniquely different. So fantastic wine to enjoy with steak or not. Uh, you know, you decide how you want to enjoy it. There's been a great liberation in food and wine pairings that it's not going to be just so uh, specific and stuck in time, but really liberating to you to what you want to enjoy your food and wine with. Now, uh, this wine is uh, 93 points out of 100 points. This is picking up some tart blackberry notes as well as cassis notes, uh, fresh red roses as well as clove and pepper. And next, the palate characterization. So notes on this include blackberry, coli, thyme, white pepper, a bit of violet note, bay leaf, and cardamom. Fantastically well-developed, great texture to this wine, great weight to the wine, of course, and uh, it's gonna go splendidly with many foods. And sometimes as a luxuriant way of being, yes, I wanna enjoy a food, and uh, to enjoy on its own is absolutely a delight. And I think uh, it's a great way of celebrating wine to enjoy on its own terms and by itself as well. So either way is absolutely acceptable to do. And thank you for your support. I appreciate you watching. Are you a fan of Duckhorn? Have you been there? And uh, you know, I'll put more, more videos right here of the Duckhorn wines that I have reviewed. I really look forward to visiting again. I can't wait to visit soon, I hope. Uh, this year, 2019, there's no reason not to. So I need to visit Duckhorn again before it turns 2020. So thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it many more reviews to come in this uh, great year of 2019. So thank you for joining me today. You'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Many more to come, and uh, thank you for joining once more. I do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Sante.